Hey guys, it's Liz from Eating Vegan Simplified. Today I'm going to talk about appetizer that I'm making. I'm going to be making it for Thanksgiving, but you can make it for anything. If it's not, you know, it's going to be Thanksgiving pretty soon, like a few more weeks, I guess. So I'm kind of trying to get my menu together, but um, if you need to make it for a Super Bowl party, a Christmas party, a, a celebration because you just got divorced or quit a job you hated or what and whatever you could make this for any make it for lunch for for God's sake do whatever you want but anyway it's really yummy it's really easy so check it out so what I've done is I have steamed some little potatoes and I've already um, I've already kind of scooped some out I'm gonna do one or two on camera so you can see but look all I'm doing is I'm just scooping out some of the inside of this potato it's not real difficult um, so this is what I'm doing and what should you do with that potato that you scooped out? Eat it. I say you should eat it or use it in a recipe or something. Um, whatever you want to do with it. Make a, I don't know, just throw it in, throw it in something else you're making. Uh, I have a pile of them over there. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I'm gonna do something. Make a mashed potatoes, potato salad, whatever. Okay, you get the idea. So that's not real difficult. It's, it's of course, it is cooked potato, it would be difficult if it wasn't cooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff these. So first I have a 15 ounce can of chickpea. You notice I am putting it in the food processor. Um, and then I have some garlic. This is um, two cloves of garlic. And I have some water, two tablespoons of water. And two tablespoons of lemon juice that I squeezed. And before I squeezed it, I got the zest off. So there's some zest. Uh, there's the zest of one lemon. I'm putting some horseradish. Why? Because I like horseradish. This is one and a half, um, one and a half tablespoons of horseradish. And this is a couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Try to get it in the food processor. That's really what I recommend. Try not to get it outside of the food processor, like I almost just did. This is turmeric, it's a half a teaspoon of turmeric. This will make it look yellow, and it will look like a deviled egg, even though it's not egg. Here's my weird pepper, guys, look at this spoon. I don't know, why do I have this, why not? So I keep my pepper in here. So I'm putting a little pepper, I don't know how much. How much pepper do you like? That's how much you should put in. And I am gonna put a bunch of chopped up green onion, but I'm also gonna save some, a little bit, for just some garnish at the end. Probably that much. So maybe have like, maybe a cup or so of, um, of green onion. Okay, so let's um, get this going. So hopefully you can hear me, but I just wanna blend all of it until it's sort of creamy, uh, however long that takes. I recently watched a video of a guy, and every time he turned on his blender, he did a dance. I considered that for a few minutes, but I don't think so. He kind of did this slow you know, dance. It was kind of cool. But you know, that's his thing. I don't want to take that from him. I just admired it. It was kind of, it made it interesting. I was hoping he would turn on the food processor so I could watch him dance with it. Okay. Creamy. You want to have a look in here so you can see what that looks like. It looks creamy. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this on a spoon and put it in. And it's kind of looked like a deviled egg. See, we all know it's not a deviled egg. Let me get something to put it on, like serve it on. Maybe flamingos. Flamingos. Okay, so let's do this. I'll move this out of the way a little bit so you can see. And then put just like a pinch of paprika and some green onion. You know, don't go crazy, you don't wanna overwhelm people. But um, doesn't that look nice? Can you picture a whole platter of those? And this was really very easy. I mean, granted, I did cook the potatoes. So I bought these little potatoes that's really the only thing I cooked here. I bought these little potatoes and then I just steamed them for 20 minutes in like a steamer. 
but maybe you have another way that you like to cook them. That's okay too. Um, I did that and I, after I steamed them, I cooled them down a little bit so that they are, you know, not too hot for me to deal with, but look, you could do this. I'm sure you can. You're going to come out and you know what your guests are going to say? Wow. Thank you. This looks fantastic. Did you get this professionally catered? And you're going to say, no, I did it myself. So anyway, try to picture a whole platter of these because that's what I'm about to do. But there you go. I hope you try it and like it and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, that's very important because I don't want you to miss out. I'm going to be making more appetizers in my next video. And also, a lot of you ask me, where can I find the written recipe? Right underneath. Check right underneath this video. I'll put it there, okay? Happy cooking, everyone.